Hello, I'm Barry. I am 79 years old. I'll put in a disclaimer here. None of the videos in this series should be taken as advice. I am relating how I managed to discard a number of pharmaceuticals from my daily routine with diet and exercise. My methods will not suit everyone. We all are different. The Greeks and Romans figured out over 2,000 years ago mental exercise and self-awareness is just as important for well-being as physical exercise. Welcome to the fourth video in my elderly health series. 30 years ago, I was prescribed a tricyclic antidepressant. At the time, the doctor said I could stay on the medication for the rest of my life. The usual precursor to depression is sleep deprivation. It is a well-known technique used by regimes against their political opponents to break their will. The pattern I had was inability to sleep. I would lie awake with my mind on a treadmill of negative thoughts that led to depression. The antidepressant worked. However, it also put me in a mental fog. I could not think clearly. I tapered down to a minimum dose over the years. I quit entirely about four years ago. In the conclusion of this video, I'll talk about how I did it and side effects of a tricyclic antidepressants that I am still dealing with. This excerpt is from my autobiography. I add to it regularly with my experiences. It recounts my challenges in life as someone who has always been different, the highs and the lows. It currently stands at 143,000 words. It's another form of mental exercise. Solitaire is another form of mental exercise I do daily. My aim is completion under five minutes. Pass on Sip is the national card game in Thailand. It's a combination of luck and skill. It's also another form of mental exercise for me. Without getting too technical, it involves pairing cards as shown. Jokers can pair with anything. Part of the game is tricking an opponent into discarding a card needed to fill a hand of three pairs. Here's an example. <laughs> I have always been a voracious reader. There are books I read once. There are others I return to like an old friend. Electronic books were a godsend to me. I can carry four or five hundred on my smartphone. My reaction time is 0.42 seconds, which is pretty slow. The assets of a scooter are its manoeuvrability and acceleration. I have to use threat assessment and check my mirrors constantly. I also have to assume everyone else on the road is an idiot. Thai roads are among the most dangerous in the world. Come with me on a little trip I do most days. There is no better exercise to stay mentally alert. I hasten to add, I'm not advising anyone else to do this. I apologise for the camera shake. It's what happens when I mount my phone on a scooter. I've condensed a 10 minute run down to 2 minutes. The road rules I follow are keep left, 
and I give way to everything else on the road, even bicycles. It's okay to lane split, turn left on a red light, go up a one-way street the wrong way and park where I want. No nanny state regulations. I also travel mostly at 40 kilometres an hour. I avoid travelling at night. That seems to bring out the real crazies. As I have had only one minor shunt in 10 years, I seem to be doing something right. I am going the wrong way here. The trip was to pick up fresh vegetables, cucumber and long beans. This is the morning market. The afternoon market is back down the street. I prefer the morning market as the afternoon market is more crowded. Nothing better than a quick run to brush away the metal cobwebs. Some people might ask when a guy my age is going to stop riding a scooter. As long as I can control the scooter with a pillion passenger and have confidence in my driving ability, I will continue to enjoy the mobility and mental exercise I get nearly every day. In quitting antidepressants, I was aware the elderly need less sleep. I adjusted my sleep patterns. I am quite happy to nap in the morning or afternoon if I feel the need. I will also get up at 3 or 4 a.m and spend time on the internet, usually about an hour, and then go back to bed. When I am awake in bed, I focus on pleasant recollections and fantasies. I avoid negative thoughts. I take a drowsy antihistamine once a week. That will give me 8 to 10 hours of good sleep. The medication is not addictive. Side effects of tricyclic antidepressants include night sweats, weight gain, and contribute to benign prostatic hyperplasia. In my next video, I will describe the diet I evolved to lose weight and the benefits I have achieved.